I'm Jen Knights and today we'll be talking about patents and how they are ruining everything. A patent is supposed to be awarded to someone that has invented something that is unique. It should prevent the ability of others stealing it and selling it as their own. That's the idea anyways. Just this week a patent was awarded to Twitter. Yep, that's right, Twitter. The concept of broadcasting a message to people without directly sending it to that person. That is exactly what Twitter is. It isn't really a direct messaging service. I have no complaints about what the patent includes, but I am complaining about the patent itself. Twitter says they won't be using this patent offensively, so they won't be suing it anytime soon. But the fact they need to tell people that they're not doing this is the problem. Applying for patents still to be used offensively to protect other companies. These patents are so broad that they're threatening so many of the designs. This week alone there are two patent infringing articles. Two this week. One of them is a company called Intertrust Technologies and they say that Apple is infringing 15 patents that include practically every Apple device. The company even managed to force Microsoft to take a $440 million license from them. The main patent involved is DRM itself. The concept of DRM is patented by this company. I have a similar opinion on software patents. This week LG decided to sue Samsung. Software in the new S4 means you can track the movement of your eyes. If you look away from the phone, a video can stop playing or the screen will turn off. LG claims they have a technology that does the exact same thing. They haven't even used the technology in their own devices, nor have they showcased it to anyone. But they have patented the technology, so they can try and sue Samsung. You know, Apple has a patent on slide to unlock and Google is trying to patent their own lock screen. Yet Google has been complaining to the US government about over-rewarding ideas. In my opinion, it's becoming pathetic. Some have patents that are so broad that they're mainly used to attack other companies for a bit of cash. The system is supposed to help the little guys protect an idea. Instead, it's preventing innovation. And software patents, should they even exist? It's a completely different situation in China. They don't have a system to protect ideas. Anything can be copied and there is nothing you can do about it. This is probably the reason why so many companies stay away from China, especially because there's so many knockoff imitations. Feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.